What's up, guys? My name is Wes, and I want to talk about one of the funniest moments I have as a photographer. I went to this event, and um, I was paid to take uh, like more or less event pictures, behind-the-scenes pictures of this woman named Nikki Murderous, I think it was, and she had a boyfriend named Molly Mall or Molly Mail or Melly Mail, one of the two. Very big and famous people out of uh, Hollywood, California. They were on the show called Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Edition or something like that. But anyway, what happened was um, they missed their flight. And they had to take a flight that was a little, maybe an hour and a half later. And they wind up getting to the event late. And they didn't have a uh, all the rental car spots were you know, basically closed around that time. So they had to ask one of their buddies, which is, um, his name is Tiny Zeus Lester, or he's also known as Devo off of Friday, to give them a ride. So they call him. He goes and picks him up from the airport. And um, so they're really late getting to this event, which is okay. I mean, it's all good. But they get there around maybe, I say about 12.45, 12.50 at night. And as we're waiting, I can't remember the gentleman's name, and I would prefer not to use his name anyway. But as we're waiting, this one guy that was there that had made all these accusations about being some, you know, uh, other the in-between guy with celebrities and stuff like that. He knew Molly Mall, and he knew, uh, you know, Debo pretty well. No, I think that back at the time we didn't know Debo was going to be there. And this is before, I'm talking about before, you know, the celebrities got there. So he's talking about how rich he is and, you know, how all um, these connections he has and this, that, and the third. And he hasn't done anything for me not to believe him. But then again, he's just, just like the, every other guy that is out there that wants to make a name for himself or wants to pretend that he's bigger than what he is and just shouting out all this stuff. One thing I can say to his credibility, which is true, is that he did have, you know, a lot of money. I can tell because of the jewelry he was wearing and this, that, and the third and what car he drove. But anyway, to make a long story short, uh, Melly Mel, that girl Nikki, Metris, and Debo, and Debo's date, which was a really attractive Asian woman, get to the event. I'm following behind them all, and I didn't know this guy, Melly Mel, at the time, and uh, as they're walking into the club, I get right behind uh, the girl Nikki. And I have to tap on my shoulder, and it's Molly Melly Mel, and he gets in front of me. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And as they're walking in, I look behind me again, and it's Debo. And everybody's shocked to see this guy there because he's just like, I mean, he's iconic, man. I mean, who hasn't seen the movie Friday, you know, Friday After Next or whatever. And um, so they all sit down, they're taking their seats, and they're doing their thing, you know, getting, getting the party started. And the guy that I was speaking of that he said that he's this big shot was um, asking me to take a picture of him and Debo. So he's all coming coming at me and saying, hey, get over here, get over here. I want you to take this picture of me and Debo. So I'm like, okay, fuck it, I'll go over there and take the picture. Debo wasn't part of the contract, but then again, who does not want to take a picture of Debo? So the guy that I'm speaking of stands about maybe 5'2", five, 5'6", five, he's, he's short, maybe 5'6", five, between 5'2", five, 5'6". And uh, he's patting Debo on the shoulder. Debo has his back turned to him. And he pats Debo on the shoulder. And Debo turns around and he looks and he looks down. And was like, uh, you know, he gives the guy the nod. And then, um, he's how did it go? So Debo turns back around and he's continuing his conversation. And then the guy pats him on the shoulder again, and he points towards me. And I kind of raise up my camera to show the guy, like, hey, I got a camera. I'll show Debo. Debo, at this time, looks like he became infuriated, grabs the little guy by his fucking neck, and starts to choking him. I started kind of giggling nervously. And this is the part right here that make this most one of the most rememberable photo shoots I've ever had. Alright, you guys, put in your mind the same voice that Debo has off of Friday when he's aggressive, when he's mad. Debo looks me directly in the eye and says, take the picture, little nigga. And 
I break out in laughter. I start taking the picture because who the fuck is going to tell Debo no? And this guy looks embarrassed. He looks scared. Debo's shaking his neck, wringing it back and forth for at least about 20 seconds. And I'm taking a picture. Nikki is in the background. She looks, but she acts like she wasn't, you know, paying attention to this giant mammoth man choking out this guy that's 5'6". And a couple of people in the background, they're laughing, and everyone's, like, thrilled to see Debo act mad crazy at the club. But it really embarrassed this little guy. And at the end of this video, which is now... I'm going to show you some of the pictures that I take, took, excuse me. Thank you guys for watching. This is Wes with Westdale Photography.